Going very well, Joe. And it's, uh, it's a lot, gone a lot better than it does on our BBC Radio York newsroom every day, I can tell you that. At least everyone's listening to me here and following orders on that BBC Radio York. They're just saying, go on, make us a cup of tea, Joe, you know what you're good at. Right, we have set the guys at Archbishop Polgate School here, Kyle, Ollie, Billy and Poppy. We found some news stories and I'm going to read them. To a BBC standard, I'm on Alice through the bed first. BBC Radio York News. The words genius and brilliant are widely used in the tributes to Professor Stephen Hawking. For the Financial Times, he brought science to the masses and inspired millions. The Guardian says he was told he would only have a brief time on Earth, but he spent half a century captivating audience in lecture halls, on TV, and in the pages of his books. For the sun, his death leaves a black hole in our hearts. A cartoon in the star shows Professor Stephen Professor Stephen Hawking looking down from the stars, the caption reading, Master of the Universe. People are being asked to consider putting less popular fish species on their plates to support the UK fishing industry. According to The Guardian, the Marine Conservation Society wants us to shun the big five staples, cod, haddock, prawns, salmon and tuna, in favour of more sustainable choices. Along the variety suggests a dab, <laughs> a sweet and succulent brown flatfish, and megrim from the same family as turbot and brill. The conservation charity tells the male that although the names don't trip off the tongue, there should be the fish supper of the future. In Godzilla's horse race, the kill thing coats baby has been cancelled. The decision was made because of flooding and damage caused by vehicles. Instead of a single jockey will lead a horse along the track of a centuries old course. Tradition has it that if a horse doesn't complete the course one year, the race has to be stopped for good. If you watch BBC Loch North from Leeds, you'll know that Harry, Amy and Paul start their latest challenge for sports runs this morning, pushing a red sofa around Yorkshire. The presenters are aiming to cover 100 miles, visiting 50 locations and hoping to meet lots of generous supporters along the way. It's all part of the celebrations to mark the programme's 50th anniversary. Yeah? <laughs> that is 100% accurate, Joe Anita. He, pre he, pre he performed it, yeah. Yeah, well that was Kyle, Ollie, Millie and Poppy and they're at Archbishop Holgate School. I hope you're listening Nathan Turvey because you're out, you're out when you're here. There's people coming to get your job here. <laughs> that's, that's how we should be actually. And also I was talking to Ollie who was just to the right of me and I was like, oh, what do I do when you grow up? I want to be a reporter like you. And I just heard him read the news there. He's not going to be like me, he's going to be better than me. I'm going to be on job centre I reckon by in a couple of years time when Ollie, when Ollie and Kyle and Millie come through the thing. Right, I thought some more fake news stories guys. I mentioned in the first half, we've got to think at BBC, we can only report true, honest facts, okay? So we've got to look out for fake news. People tell us some fake news, try and catch us out sometimes. Or something will be inaccurate and we've got to check the facts. Okay, so I'll start with you, Poppy. Nathan, our newsreader, is a stunt double for Emmerdale's Zach Dingle. It is false, yeah, but you can see the resemblance. Right, we're going out to <laughs> Millie. Millie, Joe Anita once interviewed legendary saxophonist Snake Davis, who has played with Spice Girls, Beyonce and Tom Jones. Is that fair or is that true? Um, true. It is true, yes it is. Right, our paper reviewer, Holly, was Beth McCarthy. She's a musician. She was a paper reviewer today. She's from York. And she's big mates with Ricky Wilson from the Kai's Chiefs. Sometimes has... Tea and cake with him. Is that fair or is that true? True. It is true. Would you like to tell everybody on a daily occasion? Right, and finally, Jericho, that's me, Kyle, right? Jericho once had a beer with the Pope in Rome. True. I wish it was true. <laughs> no, it was not true. So what do you guys look out for then when you're looking for news? How do you know that it, it is true and it's not fake? And where do you find your news from? I find my news from the internet a lot and I once I've found that story I'd look it up a lot of times to see, see if it's co copied around and round a lot and if it's like that it could it's more likely to be true. But always check your sources, that's the that's the phrase you have to use at the BBC. So Ollie, 
Where do you find your news from? And have you found anything today that we should have been picked up on? Because Nathan, our newsreader, is working extra hard today, but in a fluster, knowing that the new breed are coming through with you guys, they may have missed some things. Anything you should be talking about? Um, I think uh, I get my news from the BBC. Uh, that's a reliable source. And uh, but um, I think I, what I saw interesting on the, the news today was uh, that people who take time off schools go on holiday overall with 24 million pounds uh, in over 400,000 penalties. And I think it's just sad that people. Um, take time off school to go on holiday, even if it may be cheaper. Oh, so you wouldn't, this is a different out of interview now, would you go on holiday in school time if your mum and dad said, I'll take that off school? She said, no, no, I've got studies to be doing. Uh, no, I definitely wouldn't go out of school. I would. When I was at school, any opportunity, I'd have left. I know that you, really, you're excited about the Harry, Amy and Paul carrying the red sofa, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, very much. So are you going to try and get a scoop before we get there? Because I believe I'm going to meet them tomorrow. So are you going to try and get in before me and get all the best, uh, interview. Well, if I can, then I will. Yeah. yeah? Is there anybody who you think that you'd really like to interview, if you had the chance to interview anybody and ask some questions about their life, their career, their journey, is there anybody, as a journalist, you think, I would love to interview them? I'm not sure. Maybe someone who's on TV, like, all the time, because that's really nerve-wracking, so I'd like to see someone who's on the TV quite a lot. Like Harry Gresham? Yeah. They're going to here. Can we make that happen? Can we get Harry Gracie up here with the red sofa? I'll try my best. I will contrive as I'm all he can do. God loves a trier.